Hi there, in this video we'll be continuing with the moon theme and we'll be looking at a graph component for moon. So let's start a new moon project and we can do this in a few ways. We can use the moon CLI or we can use the CDN. For now, let's simply use the CDN. I'm going to call this moon bars. And inside of this file, I'm going to make an index.html and an app.js. Then I'll open this up inside of Visual Studio Code and we'll also open this up inside of HTTP server. So as always, we will start off with a new HTML5 project. I will put the title to be moon.js bars. Then we will add moon.js to our index.html and that can be done by adding a new script with the source of unpackage.com slash moon.js slash dist slash moon .js. And this is a development build. So if you want to add a production build, you will have to just simply say unpackage.com slash moon.js. So when you're going into production, either pull in from the CDN like that or use Webpack. So we now have moon.js. We now need the moon bars. So in order to get moon bars, make sure that we've already imported moon.js. And the next thing we can do is pull in another script source at unpackage.com slash moon dash bars. So that's moon bars. And this then allows us to use bar charts inside of our app. Underneath all of this, I'll put in our application. And that of course comes at app.js. So inside of app.js, we need to tell moon that we want to use the moon bars plugin. And that can be done by moon.use and we pass in moon bars. As we've imported that from the CDN, this is a global variable here, so we don't need to worry about importing this at this moment in time. So at this point, we may want to specify a new moon instance because we may have a moon instance and we want to do things with this moon instance. For example, we could bind things like data and other fills that potentially we want to look at. So we want to make a new moon and we can specify this to be a const perhaps named app. And we'll specify that our moon instance needs to be on a div with the ID of app. So we can head over to our index.html and above everything, so the first item inside of our body, we can make a div with the ID of app. Just to test that everything works, let's give this a template of with a h1, hello world. So here we have a moon instance with a template of hello world. Perhaps then inside of our moon instance, we want a data object and that would contain different things about our bar chart. So we might have some data points and our data points would actually be an array. And we also have a fill. Both of these things would be an array because we'd specify different data points and perhaps different fills. So let's look at specifying some different data. So if we had some data points that went 10, 9, 8, 7, and 6. We could then have a fill of potentially something like a darker amethyst and going down into a sort of navy blue. Let's save our file and what we need to do now is use the bars component and pass through the data and the fill. So let's do that. Inside of our template, we can use bars and we can use M literal to bind to the data points as well as the fill. And as you can see, we then have some bars on screen. We could potentially like making this even darker. So if we added another one, and we refresh the page, you'd see that we now have a darker fill. We can also pass a height, such as 200, and a width, such as 400, to our bars. 
And if we zoom out, you can see that we can change the height and width of our bars. So it's certainly quite interesting. I'd love to know what you think. And of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you'd like to stay updated with more videos. And of course, check out paulhalladay.io for more free courses and premium content. Until next time, I'll see you soon in the next video.